When you Google ways to get over a breakup, you find pointless tips like do what makes you happy, stay active, spend time with friends. It's all bullshit. Did you know there were six phases to break up? There are six. It's been months, and here I am, still stuck on phase one. I know you're probably wondering how I ended up here. I guess I finally realized that I'm destined to be alone. I suck at relationships. First, there was Brittany, my high school sweetheart. Oh my God. I am so done with that class. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, She's a year older than me, but oh naturally we were drawn to each other. She's the first woman I ever loved. We can like watch a movie or... No, you know my mom's not gonna let that. Come on, so. it'll be so much fun. Yeah, it would be fun, but please, please don't do puppy dog eyes. <laughs> I just really wanna see you. See me now. <laughs> Charles, I'm picking her up now. Yeah, because I'm the responsible yeah. parent. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe what You're I'm saying. You're so cute. I like it better when your hair is pushed back. What are you doing? Oh, no. Mommy. Needless to say, things didn't last long between Brittany and I. Then after her was Peyton and, oh, let's not forget Rob, the man I almost married. Almost. I your voice. You're complete. And I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. Jessica? I can't do this. I'm sorry. I can't. Jessica. And... Yet, none of them compare to her. Maya Taylor, the love of my life and the vein of my existence for the last three years. It is until she decided that she no longer saw a future with me. And, and this is the same woman that chased after me at the altar and was willing to support another man's baby. If we're being honest, She'd probably still be here if I didn't miss Carrie. That day, that day changed my life. You know, a part of me blamed her for not being there. No woman should ever experience that alone.
sunshine. Hey, how long was that out for? It's been a few days. How you feeling? I feel the same, Tammy. <laughs> Whoa. If you're gonna have this nasty ass attitude, at least keep it in your room. Okay, that's fine. I'll stay in my room. No. Jess, I'm coming home to bottles, popcorn, like, we're gonna have roaches at this point. I'll do better. No. I need you to get up, and let's get out. I'm not leaving the house, Timmy. All right, well, suit yourself, but uh, last time I checked, you have work this weekend, and Ren is doing the first. Oh, I know my schedule, and I always pay on time. All right, well, at least if you're gonna stay in, please call your mother to reschedule. Fuck, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, and... That's why I'm here to keep you on track. Love you. Bye. Well, last time we ignored exactly everything we were saying, oh, and like he never listens to us. Um, I know, but um, he always ends up doing what we say. But yeah, and for the meeting, I think I need to be like a little bit more stern, maybe, because yeah. like he just doesn't listen to us. I'll tell you about it later. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Do you two want anything? No. Coffee at the studio, right? It's trash. Thank you. Touche. Yeah, I'd rather have an assistant to grab my coffee, anyways. There's a shit ton of other things I could be doing right now. <laughs> yeah, but the studio will barely cover our budget as is. Facts. And I'm upset I can't work on this project with you guys. Don't be. What's the premise? It's a typical white teenage love story. You're not really missing anything. Yeah, that trip to LA. She's right about that. That's I mean, true. Why does Tom keep producing these mediocre ass stories? Ugh, this is heaven in my mouth. Must you say everything that comes out of your mouth? I will, as long as she writes that thing to work every day. What's wrong with my back? It's called exercise, and you should try it. I got your back. Don't worry. It's our shit. I'm joking. I think it's great. You know, you're young. You have the knees for it. Only a couple years older than me. Yet it seems so amateur. Anyway, do you want to put your story to Tom? I can set up a meeting. Nah, there's something missing. I'm gonna take my time till I figure it out. Okay. I mean, I think it's good. But I get it. You want to come correct. Like, you want to get one shot at this. The key to this industry is to work your ass off. Okay? But if you really want to succeed, you got to kiss a little while you're doing it. Don't listen to her. Okay. <laughs> Last year you were an intern, this year you're a production assistant. You're on the right track. Thank you, I appreciate that. You gotta earn your wings, grasshopper. Hey, Tammy, you're attached to that thing. Yeah, what's so important? Well, if you two must know, I'm just planning a little something before we leave to LA. Oh, oh okay, tell me when. <laughs> you're not invited. Fuck you. <laughs> So me and my friend, we just want to put a little something together for my roommate, you know, lift her spirits a little bit. Uh, uh, Tom just sent an email. He wants to know if somebody can stop by the office early. Later. I didn't get an email. That's because he didn't send one, but don't you love her tenacity? You are so evil. I know. Oh, hey there. Nice of you to join me, despite your aspirations to dress for the occasion. <laughs> Why you called so much, Mom? I thought it was urgent. Well, is it a crime to want to spend time with my only child? Hmm? Sure, Mother. Ah, I've already ordered for us, so don't worry. Must you order for me? Oh, I saw the menu. It's full of carbs, and I thought we were watching our figures. Seriously, Mom, why am I here? Well. I know that you've been too good to dip into your trust fund, and the money's been adding up, so I thought that you could use a little help. I don't need your money, Mom. I'm working and I make enough to pay my bills. You obviously have gotten this stubborn streak from your father. Can we not bring him into this? Well, I know how hard it is to start over, and you were financially dependent on her. I knew it. I knew you were gonna make this about mine. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy you two have broken oh, up. Oh, I'm sure you are, just like you were happy about Brittany and Peyton. Oh, and let's not forget about Rob and the wedding you didn't come to. The wedding was a fluke. And I wasn't gonna stand there and watch you embarrass the our family. The wedding was real, Mom. And so was our child. God doesn't make any mistakes. And he knew a child had no business being raised by, by two women. No. No, no, I'm sorry, that's not how I meant. I, I didn't mean to, I'm, Jessica, please come back, please. Please, Jessica. Wait. Oh. Psst. 
So? So what? Have you spoken to Jess? Nope, not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? What part of she's not over her ex don't you understand? You've been crushing on this girl since I met you. Her moving in was your chance to make a move. Yeah, but she's my best friend. I don't wanna cross that line. So you'd rather just wonder what could be? Or we could talk about something else, like work? Who are we delegating to do this marketing campaign? Um, I don't know, let's get Frankie to do it. I'm sure she'd love the extra work. What is your problem with her? There's no problem. I just feel as if you give her way too much leeway. <laughs> no, I do not. I can set up a meeting with Tom whenever you're ready. It took you and me five years before we could pitch anything to him. Yeah, but times are different. And she actually has the potential to be a great storyteller. Yeah, uh-huh. Come in. Hey, what's up? Am I interrupting? Nope. Uh, speak of the devil. You're good. Can I talk to you outside? Yeah, let's step outside. Sarah, so I just wanted to thank you. For? The false alarm this morning. Yeah, it turns out Tom was looking to bring someone on board for a big project and I'm just the woman for the job. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty of that from you in the future. I'll see you around. <laughs> oh, hold on, I almost forgot. Tom suggests that you be in charge of the promotional campaign. It makes more sense than delegating a PA such as myself. Wouldn't you agree? Why are you sitting in the dark, girl? You scared me. I take it things did not go well with your mother. You already know. All right, well, lay it on me. Well, she reached out to me because she wanted to give me money, and somehow that turned into a conversation about Maya, today. the wedding, and the baby. Damn, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Okay, so I know that the easiest thing to do is to continue to sit around in this little moat, but no. Tonight, we are celebrating. And what exactly are we celebrating? You, baby girl. You are the prize, and I'm gonna help you remember that. If I'm such a prize, then why does she leave me? Maya left you because she couldn't control you. She did not try to control she, me. Yeah, okay. She didn't. So what did she do when you wanted to go back to school? Well, we both agreed that it wasn't the right time. I mean, I just mm -mm. Also... I am not gonna let you blame yourself. Maya stepped up. I pushed her away. After I lost the baby, I was super distant. And it was just a kiss. She's the one who told me about it. That's all there was. Okay, well look, I didn't wanna have to tell you this, but uh, you're gonna find out and I'd rather tell be for me. What? She's engaged. Yes, to Dr. Frazier. Girl, I told you it wasn't a one-time thing. She's marrying this bitch? She told me it would be years before she married anybody. You're gonna get over this, okay? You remember that time in high school when you wanted to die because Brittany exchanged schools? Yeah, that's because I was young and dumb. Just a smidge. But you got over it then, and you're definitely gonna get over this now. That is Maya's loss. Yeah, you're right. I was good. No, I was a great girlfriend to Maya. <laughs> yes, you were. And even after she cheated, I was willing to make it work. Sure did. She didn't want to. Fuck her. Fuck her and that engagement. You want another drink? Yeah, make it a double. All right. I can't believe I'm about to be 25 this year. Yeah, I'm gonna be 27. Welcome to the Grown Woman Club. You ever feel like you're supposed to be doing something more with your life? Tammy.
Did you know there were six phases to wake up? There's six. It's been months, and here I am, still stuck on phase one. My name is Peyton Bryant, and I play Jessica. In the pilot episode, in the black hole phase, we meet Jessica at the beginning of her dealing with her breakup with Maya and her miscarriage and just trying to find herself again after all the tragedy that she experienced. She's kind of in this place where everything's dark and she's getting sucked in deeper and deeper into her own sadness. Everything she, Jessica thought she was going through to find love and to get true love, what she thought she had with Maya, it turned out to not be true at all. You know, she left her and then left her marriage to get back with her and then she ends up leaving her and marrying the first girl she meets. She's engaged. Yes, to Dr. Frazier. Girl, I told you it wasn't a one-time thing. She's marrying this bitch? She told me it would be years before she married anybody. I think that is such a, a revelation to her that all this time she was fighting for a love that wasn't reciprocated. God doesn't make any mistakes. And he knew a child had no business being raised by, by two women. I think showing wow. Jessica's parents is one of the most important aspects of showing who Jessica is. Because childhood trauma, in my opinion, completely builds who a person is gonna become. I think you guys should watch because it, it's really good and it touches on a lot of topics. You get to see like how childhood trauma affects someone, how you know your decisions as far as relationships and, and fluidity and different things like that affect who you become as a person. And I think that a lot of people will relate to it.